Did you know that HBK is actually uh, part of one of the largest kosher European franchises in the world? Really? Yeah. That, that I did 12 not. 12 restaurants in France. Oh, cool. All right. We're here in HBK Hollywood. They know what they're doing. They've done it in France 12 times. Clock kosher franchise in France. Clock kosher franchise, 12 of them. Wow. And now they're in the United States. This is their first step. We're here to check it out. This is HBK Hollywood. Lord. <laughs> We are in HBK, it's a burger joint. The great space, the great vibe. It's yeah. got that wood. And it has that, uh, that that eclectic, what I call Lubavitch pop art. It's pop art, and it's got all sorts of different things going on, but it, there's also the Rebbe thrown in all over the place. It was in the art. Kind of like Andy Warhol, if he uh, moved to 770 and changed his name to Menachem Mendel. Where are we eating? today, <laughs> you know, is it very subtle? Yeah. No, this is a classic burger. They are grinding some beautiful beef. They're rocking out some burgers. We got a little bit of their bacon on the side. Uh, one for you, yeah, and one for me. I'm gonna put some of the bacons on there. Bacons, beef bacons. <laughs> to me, it's almost more of a European richness. Making sure that grind is loose to make just that crumbly bite, but there's a melt point to that, which is fascinating. That's a fantastic burger, and I think, I think they're trying to set the tone for that consistency and quality yep. in translating that French-European feel of a hamburger there to a hamburger here. So they have burgers, but they also have a really, really snazzy yeah. Snazzy. See, palm frites. They have a steak sandwich. It's got avocado, it's got their onion, Q sauce. They have pastrami on top, which they're making over up in here. First of all, you know what I really think is the most, the, the real French influence, the real star of all these things that tells me that they're coming from a different country? Huh. Their use of their greens. They have a mash, they got an arugula, right? Big arugula. Arugula. Avocado, because they really like avocado. Yeah. A ribeye steak in a sandwich is not an easy production no, to do to no. make it good. We have a soft butter ribeye, flash grilled, reset, reheated, seasoned. It's a fantastic sandwich. It's a steak sandwich where it's really a giant steak. And because of how they're doing it with the sous vide and whatnot, it <clears throat> makes it a makes it a beautiful quality product. Yeah. They had a skirt steak sandwich. I don't know if they do this in France, but maybe the skirt steak sandwich is more because we're having a Latin influence uh, here in Florida. Florida's really the Latin country. Mm -hmm. And a skirt steak sandwich is really a Latin That's flavor. Right. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a bite. They've really tamed the salinity. And what they've replaced it is with that, you know, grassy bang of a pesto slash chimichurri which again speaks to all that Latin influence in the sandwich. The standout star is this bread, which is tight, it holds, but it's soft. Yeah. And you can still chew it, you can still bite it. And that's what makes this skirt steak sandwich a star, man. French. This is easily one of the largest mashkiach to meat-eat kosher franchises in the world. HBK Burger, is responsible for 12 joints in France. That makes them a powerhouse in the kosher community. This is their first foray into the United States. Okay, this is an American burger joint run by French pros. A little bit of French, French jazz going on in the menu. A couple words are in French. Uh, their use of the greens are great. They master class a potato. And they throw down hard on the sandwiches. HBK Burger, Hollywood, Florida. I think there's gonna be one of many in this country. Yeah, Get used cool. to it. Oh, 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 oh,